the the big ellipse on the outside is mostly related to the tires. It's going to be morphing as we change speeds at different places on the track. But this, this kind of ellipse, which is usually called the traction ellipse, is, is because of the behavior of tires. So we have in steady state cornering, if we're only going around a corner, we have some maximum where we have some maximum lateral acceleration that the car is able to sustain. And if we only brake in a straight line, we have some <clears throat> maximum braking that the car is able to sustain. In between that, there's a smooth continuum between combinations of cornering and braking. And it's not, it's not that we can, you know, as we all know, we, we're not only doing one or the other. As we enter a corner, we're both cornering and braking. And as we exit, we're accelerating and cornering. So there's these different combinations. And we're able to achieve any place, again, if we know what this diagram looks like for your car, for the track we're on, you're able to reach any space in this green field. So the apex display is as simple as the difference between where you currently are and the maximum we predict you can achieve. So apex is creating this border, constantly morphing it, changing it to your car, to your driving style, to the track you're on, to weather conditions, everything. It's constantly learning how to draw this circle. And it reduces everything it knows about your vehicle and you and the track to what percent am I of the maximum I could achieve? We're going to take this and plot it in the digital driving coach. So you've all seen the videos of us using these systems and seen them in race cars. The, the idea here is that everything we've done, we reduce it to one bar, kind of looks like shift lights, but we have kind of two pieces to this. We have a red bar that we like to envision it extends from the left to a certain point and a green bar which extends usually not quite to the extent of the red.